Hello and welcome to this another session in speaking module for this course in English for your program. We have been looking at how great presentations have been made in simple language, in standard accent, which also includes other than pauses and stress, rhythm. And we also saw what we mean, what somebody means when they say this speech was rhythmic or there is rhythm here, it is not flat, it is not monotonous, it is not you know mechanical, it is not machine like. Well, perhaps they mean that as, as in any other kind of conversation, this speech also had an alternating pattern of you know high and low, long and short sound syllables, words, stressed and unstressed syllables, so that you know it makes for a variety of sounds. That is what many people call rhythm and like all languages, like all natural languages, standard varieties of English also have their own unique rhythm and it is important therefore that we should learn it. And the best way to learn, as I have been saying, is to have some practice. Listen, repeat, see what is said, okay? And then, you know, try and say again, if there is any error, change it, improve it, do better. But, you know, eventually, this is the way to perfection, all right? Today, let us talk about beginning a presentation, you know, go next. Now, all languages, all natural languages are primarily spoken languages. They may not be, they may not have many speakers today, you know, a large number of languages in the world today are threatened because they have no more learners or very few learners, fewer speakers. Some languages are growing, they are rising in popularity. Okay? That is because more and more people learn those languages, more and more people want to use those languages. But whether they are growing languages or threatened languages on the verge of extinction, they were all primarily designed, they were all primarily spoken languages. Some people may have written them, just as some people do anything, you know, but that is incidental, that is secondary. It is like saying some people can paint, some people can do a sculpture, some people run long distances, some people can fast for days, you know, it is like that, it is a special ability. But languages are meant for and designed as spoken language. Okay? So, when we make a presentation, actually we have nothing to learn because we know how to speak, we know how to talk. There is, however, a social difference, not a linguistic difference. There is a social difference. What is the social difference? Ordinarily, when we are in particularly in intimate groups such as at home with our parents, siblings, other members of the family, you know, or friends whom we know very well, then we do not bother about grammar, vocabulary, spelling, pronunciation, punctuation, you know. We do not even bother to speak full sentences, phrases, idioms, half word, you know, quarter word, anything goes because the context is there and the topic is known, the topic is shared, the knowledge is shared. So, whatever we say, we are understood. Okay? 
we do not have to have full sentences. We do not have to say, please be kind to come. We see our friend at the doorstep and we say, hi, come on, you know. Now, we, we do not say, hi, Mukesh, son of Venkata Subramanyam, please come in, you know. That will be frozen language. That is not conversation. Conversation is informal, casual, warm, you know, grammar may be there, it is grammatically correct of course, it has a different kind of grammar, you know. And lots of incomplete sentences, lots of single words, phrases, that makes a natural conversation and that is what we use, I would not say always, but quite often, uh, many times, you know, or many, on, on, on many occasions, most of the time especially when we are in intimate groups. So, that is what we call conversation, you know, where we are not very much worried about language, neither about topic, neither about correctness. All we do is to entertain one another, entertain or chat with our friends, family. There may also be another kind. Go next. This is called presentations, you know. Presentations is talking for longer time, you know. One person speaks for one minute together, like I am speaking now. Even if some of us do not like what I am saying, nobody calls me and tells me, hey, you shut up, okay. We put on, we try and un we try to understand, we give respect and space and time to the speaker. The speaker also respects us, you know, prepares to tell us something sensible something entertaining, something useful, uh, speaks on a particular topic, the topic may be related to work, may be related to business, may be an item, a formal item on the agenda and this present and the speaker speaks without interruption. Even if listeners do not like all that is being said, nobody tells the speaker, hey you come on, you are boring, shut up now, okay. That is a presentation. That is about the only difference, that is the social difference. Otherwise, as far as language is concerned, it is the same thing. You talk here, you talk there, okay. You talk about many things in conversation. In presentation, you talk just about one or one and a quarter or two things at the most. That is the only, the only difference. Whatever the difference, it is a social difference. Linguistically, is the same thing, you know. We have to talk. That is why many people rather than say I have to give a presentation, they say I am to go, I am going to give a talk. I am going to talk today. I am talking on India during the times of Alexander at a seminar today. I am going to talk about status of women at the time of Portugama's, oh sorry, at the, at the time of Vasco da Gama's coming to India, you know. So, we are speaking on a particular topic, may not be of everyday importance or may be of everyday importance, but you know, a, 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 a little more relevant to many more people than a home bound topic might be. A home bound topic might be useful to maybe your family, your home but a formal topic is usually useful to people in more than one home in many other places. Presentations are usually therefore made in groups, you talk to a group and because you belong to a group, you are expected to make a presentation. It is one of the necessary skills in your group membership, you know. No matter what group you work in, you may be a teacher, you may be a manager, you may be a scientist, you may be a physician, you may be an artist, no matter who you are, if you work in a group, presentations are inevitable. Actually these days, you know, many big corporations ask you to make a presentation before they recruit you, because from your presentation, they judge you, 
on the basis of your presentation, they judge you, they decide whether you can fit into a group, whether you can lead a group, whether you can perform in a group individually. As a wise Indian said, every, indi every individual is excellent. Are we excellent as a team? Can we, five, six people coming from different countries, different cultures, can we perform as a group? That makes the difference between the success and the failure of any group. In a group performing not so well, individuals pull in different directions. In a group where, which is successful, workers perform together. Together they sing, together they move, together they work, together they sink or swim. Okay? Therefore, in such occasions, in such places, presentations are an important tool of business. You talk to your colleagues, your colleagues talk to you nearly every day and in limited time, there are those constraints, you know. You have limited time, it is not like home, you have unlimited time. You tell a story and your mother listens to you until you fall asleep, okay? Or your wife or husband who would indulge you no matter what you say. Or your brothers or sister or cousins or friends or siblings. That is a totally different ball game. Here you have limited time. No matter where and no matter how big you are, you may be the president of a company, a corporation, or you may be an humble employee down the ladder, you have to say whatever you have to say within the limited time. And therefore, it is important for us to learn how to say all that is important, all that is relevant and all within the given time. The given time may be one minute, the given time may be 40 seconds. So, for instance, you, know, you can look at a Nobel, Nobel prize acceptance speech, 40 seconds only, you know, and you have to say, yes, I am, uh, thanks, I am grateful and I accept this award. So, I accept this prize, Nobel prize, okay. The presenters also do not get much more. You can, you can watch any and you will see what I am trying to say. The point is, even great things, Actually, the point is even the greatest possible things, things of immortal truth, deathless truths can be said in a few seconds. Uh, do not be under the impression that someone made a bad presentation because someone did not have enough time. If the person had enough time, the presentations would have been much worse. So, it is not a matter of time, it is a matter of preparation, it is a matter of giving thought and attention and practice that brings perfection. And then even in limited time, you can tell things which may be memorable, which will have impact, which people will enjoy and people will remember. Okay? I am going to give you, okay, please go next. I am going to share with you, I am going to give you, uh, you know, what I have been told, ba the basics of, you know, what a presentation is all about, how you can make a, not just a good, but a great presentation. And the, and the you know, the clue is pretty simple, you know, it is not that only great sages can learn or great experts can, anybody, anybody, all human beings are gifted with this faculty. All you have to remember is, all you have to do is to know your own facts, what you are talking about, you know. If you are talking about India, if you are talking about the status of women in the 16th and 17th century India, then do you know the full facts? Do you know how many of them were there? Do you know if anyone made a name as a writer, as a scientist, as a manager, as a princess or queen or a soldier? as a poet, as a beggar, okay? These are the facts. 
there is no substitute for facts, no amount of other preparations. You might have a wonderful dress, your, your accent may be great, but if you have nothing to say, you will not have a great presentation. So prepare your facts, master your facts, know about you know, your talk, remember, know what you are talking about. The next, how much time you have? If you have only 40 seconds, then you cannot say 400 different points. Neither can you rush, you know, speak hardly, speak quickly so that in 40 seconds you can make 40 points. No. Nobody will understand any point then. Okay? You cannot eat food equal to we eaten in one hour, in one minute, you know. If you have only one minute to eat, bite enough only to eat in one minute. Okay? If you have half an hour to eat, then take enough for half an hour. Same is the case, you know, the same is the principle here. Okay? Remember how much time you have only one minute, which means you have only 50 seconds. Leave 10 seconds for people coming in, going out, you getting ready. In about 50 seconds, you have to say whatever you have to say. Okay? So plan accordingly. Then remember the order. What will you say first? If you have joke and you have an important point, what is it you are going to say first? If you are the first speaker, perhaps begin on a serious note and finish with a joke. But if you are the last speaker, maybe begin with a joke, relax your listeners, get their attention and then begin. So, you know, these things depend upon whether you are the first speaker, the last speaker, how much time you have. But sequencing is important. <clears throat> you should know what you will say first, what you will say last, like it happens in stories. Does it begin with marriage? Does it begin with the villain coming in? Does it begin at the beginning? The hero looks at the heroine, the heroine looks at the hero, then they go to park, they sing together, then they come home and announce they want to get married. There are difficulties, but eventually they get married. Okay? You can, you, it's up to you, you can choose whatever you like. Also know your tools. Okay? If you are using PowerPoint slides, if you are using some audio clip, if you are using some video clip, if you are using some painting, anything, remember what you will, you are using it for, when are you going to use it, what is the point you are going to make and finally, talk slowly like you engage a friend in a conversation. A presentation is not, not greatly different. Okay, go next. Now, you see a very common complaint in preparing for presentations is, you know, I have had the good luck to be in the business of English teaching for about, you know, several decades. And from my own experience and the experience of other colleagues and students, I can tell you that everybody feels hesitant in the beginning. Everyone, even experienced teachers, there may be exceptions, but ordinary teachers, ordinary people like me and many others feel hesitant in the beginning, but then preparation and practice make them confident. They acquire confidence, they begin speaking, then they gather confidence and they are heard, they make an impact, etc., etc. So, what I am going to do now is to show you parts of a popular Hindi film. Okay? Here, I will show, show you two episodes. The first is rather short. The first day, this speaker makes a presentation in a group. Okay? And then, a few weeks later, the same presenter makes a formal presentation in a huge crowd. Look at the difference. Okay? and I am sure you will enjoy it. But first, watch the speaker. She still makes, she, she makes lots of mistakes. She appears frightened, unsure of herself, but because 
the class demands so, because the teacher demands so, the presenter has to speak, but slowly and gradually she acquires confidence. So, you know this is Sashi, first day, you know as the film says, a housewife from some city in India has gone for a wedding to New York and there she has some time to spare and she feels that she would like to learn speaking in English and so she attends some classes and as is natural speaking can be taught only by making people speak. The first days she is so hesitant like others in her class, everybody is hesitant, they do not have a lot of vocabulary, they do not they don't know a lot of words, they are not confident, they cannot produce a single sentence confidently, often only with errors, but they go on regardless and guided by their teacher in a few weeks, they acquire enough confidence. It is not that now they speak faultless, perfect, grammatically correct English, but it is very clear that now they are able to speak, now they can speak clearly, confidently, making their point and most importantly making an impact. Okay? Watch this from the same movie, the final, you know, uh, you know a, a I, I would not call it final, a, a presentation that Shashi makes at a formal on, uh, occasion, on a formal occasion a few weeks later, after a few weeks of practice. Watch it and uh, if you have difficulty understanding, we will rewind. You can also look at the subtitles on your own computer by watching it there. We will give you the link, but just now watch it for how in spite of the few errors that the speaker still makes, how confident and how clear and how impactful, how effective she is. Okay? So, we will have two or three speakers coming together including Shashi. Please watch. You know, it is a, it's the story of quick success as can happen in fiction, as happens in films. In real life, it may not be perhaps so quick and uh, so much, but then the point is very well made that success will come to you. Maybe a little, it may take a little longer than it has taken in this case. But whenever it comes to you sooner or later, this is the way. It will come only this way, only through practice, through determined practice, making use of all possible chances you may get to make a presentation. Prepare well and speak well, make an impact and soon you will find it happens. And this is, there are lots of stories of great people, you know who were tongue tied earlier, Mahatma Gandhi, who could liberate a large country like India, which is today divided into four countries, Bangladesh, Pakistan, India and then fragments called Lanka, Maldives, Afghanistan. They were all together under one British administration when Gandhi said India must be free. The same Gandhi could not speak a word until about he was 33. He could not stand up in a court of law and present his client's case. But life is like that. Certain things happened in his life and he began speaking and he spoke so well that the might of the British Empire crumbled before his ability to reach people. So, you know it is just practice, self-confidence, preparation that will make you a great speaker. So, please go on. Okay? We are going to give you an assignment. Okay? Uh, you saw the wedding scene, 
we'll give you the link to the film, watch the rest of the wedding scene and make a spoken presentation. Imagine you are a radio reporter, you know, imagine you are a radio reporter. Prepare a two minute report on this Indian wedding taking place in New York or shall we say this mixed nationality wedding taking place in, in, a foreign country, in, in, in New York. In your report you can talk about place, decorations, guests that are there, their costumes, are they differently dressed or are they dressed like as usual, anything else that you find interesting, things to eat, things to share, what is said and, and then you know make a summary of whatever has been said. It is by doing things of this kind that you will one day become the perfect, the great, the popular speaker which you have been destined by God to become. Thank you and good luck.